one of the most important things I want to say is how much I appreciate the people that are standing behind me here, beside me, uh, for the past two days. It's been a rough decision to make, and we've had a tough three and a half years, and everybody's still hanging in there. It doesn't seem that you had the community support that you might have been anticipating. What do you make of that? Um, I don't agree with the first part of the question. Um, that I didn't. Uh, what we're noticing on the picket line has been very uplifting. We've been getting toots and supports and thumbs up, and quite a few people are on our side. How would you assess then all of the people who seem to be against what's going on here with the union? They're they're highly effective. What do you mean by that? Uh, well, elaborate. Well, the, you're saying a lot of community members are against us. Mm -hmm. I'm saying I don't see that as true. I see that. How would you assess it? I see those individuals that are most passionate on the other side are highly effective. And getting their message out? Yes. yes. Okay. Well, but, well, what do you make of, of what they're saying? I, I, I think it's deplorable, deplorable that these uh, community members are uh, zeroing in on our kids' progress. I think our students here at Chamonix are excellent. Um, they've shown their um, abilities in so many different ways. Uh, I think it's uh, disgusting that they... Uh, denigrate our staff the way they have. We have an excellent staff here. Uh, they've been working under terrible conditions with horrible media reports nonstop for the past three years. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm a little uh, disappointed in the kind of coverage our students and our, our staff have gotten. Is it also maybe that maybe you haven't been as effective in getting your message out? Well, very well could be. Very well could be. Um, but it's interesting when you spend an hour and a half with the Bucks County um, the Bucks uh, Courier Times, hour and a half, two hours, maybe even three hours that one summer. And we, and we didn't get one word of print. The board did the same thing and they got three weeks of print. Mm -hmm. So um, I don't see a very balanced media as it relates to our topic. How would you then uh, say about the uh, dealings that the union is willing to compromise on this issue? How far is the union willing to go to reach to a compromise here? We have been reaching and reaching and reaching for a compromise, and um, the school board has simply been throwing it back at us. No, no. Take, take what we offer or leave it. No, no. Even after a uh, very careful financial review of the district's budget, they continue to say we're asking for more than they can possibly, um, uh, possibly pay. And not once have they sat down with us and looked at books and looked at counter proposals and, and, and tried to even figure out a way. They haven't even tried to figure out a way. It's just no. No. And no. Um, it's very disappointing. How do you put a label on the status of these talks? How would you call it? Impasse. It? Impasse. It's an impasse. So the strike will continue as long as this impasse is on? Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, when uh, a union is on strike, their negotiators are always ready to negotiate. So tonight, tomorrow, the next night, whenever they're ready. We will be at the negotiation session on Thursday. Hopefully the board will be there. Excuse me for coming in late. Has there been a mediator assigned to, to your Yes. Board? Has that done anything different to help progress the uh, when, when the other side says no and they tell the mediator no, I'm not sure the mediator can be very effective. Yeah. What, do you want, what do you want people out there, parents in the community and neighboring communities to know about what you guys are up against right now with all of this? And, um, I mean, the fact that, are you, are you Tara? No. You're not, okay. I'm no. sitting in NBC Tara. We're talking to yes. Tara Yes, Tara's here, by the way. Okay, and we'll, and we'll <laughs> say hi to her as well. Mm -hmm. Just where you are, because she talked about the fact that, you know, where the health benefits are concerned and the 15 and the 8 percent that you guys have been frozen your pay has been frozen for yes the past four for the I mean, yep, for the fourth, fourth year that our pay has been frozen yeah, like you, like our pay has been frozen for four years as well as their salaries uh increments for um graduate work and and those kinds of things so and that makes it difficult to where the health benefits are concerned and giving, you know, in the 15 and the 8 percent. Well, it's interesting because so many times people will zero on one item. We've been frozen for four years or somebody else will zero in on the health care and what are you willing to contribute to health care. Uh, but it's a whole package process. Um, and since it's a whole pa package process, uh, we need the board to be engaged at all levels. 
um, and they just haven't been. So we can do one thing at a time in the media, but when you're looking at a contract, um, it's A to Z items as well as the professional items. So our, our school board is saying no to everything. No. And their, their position has essentially remained unchanged for, uh, for uh, three and a half years. So it's, it's time for them to really roll up their sleeves and get the process started. And in your mind, as an educator, they're saying no to the children as well. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. They're saying no to every professional here, uh, all the children, all the community members. So. How do you think the strike is affecting students? Uh, affecting the students? Um, I'll have a better judge of that when I get back to work, but I do believe our students are exercising um, uh, nicely during this time. Hopefully they'll learn about the democratic process and uh, what, what all of these things mean. So, and if you don't mind, I'm going to excuse myself. Okay.